Hello, I got the Bluetooth and the Telegram part working, so I wanted to demo it. So what you see here on the left side is my Android phone screen. It's connected via USB and using this SCRCPY application on Ubuntu. So I can screen and uh, stream the, the screen of it, and also I can control it via uh, via this uh, via my PC. And then in the middle is the same setup for my. Uh, uh, the nucleo board, the power bank, and the sensor on the ground, the same setup. And then on the right side, it's my Jupyter Notebook. This time it's running on my workstation. There is no Jetson Nano involved this time. Um, but I think this can be actually, uh, this can also run on Jetson Nano, and it can connect via Bluetooth, and should be okay. Uh, but for now, it's running on my workstation. My workstation has a Bluetooth on, uh, on it, yeah. So I would show first the Telegram bot that's working. So I have, uh, so the Telegram bot, they have pretty proper do documentation, how to create a new one in their website. And also there is a te Python Telegram bot library that's just like make it much easier to use. Uh, so here I'm just creating the bot. Uh, I have a token. That token is being generated when you are creating the bot, and it's just specific to that bot. Don't share it. Um, and then so I define this notify via Telegram. Uh, so if I call that function, I should get a notification on my smartphone. And this is through the uh, Telegram uh, app. It's not and via internet probably. And you see I got the notification and this is a uh, telegram bot here um, so this is working um, so the code here is not nice I just got something that is working it's just like prototype level um, yeah that's it and then I need uh, here I'm going to set up the Bluetooth this is the address of my nuclear board the Bluetooth module on the nuclear board um, and then I'm using this uh, GHT lib library for uh, from Python to connect to BLE devices. So yeah, so here I'm just like when this is done, that means it's connected. Now yeah, it should be connected now. So here it just like you can with this function, you can see all the UUIDs that the Nucleo board is offering as a BLE server. Um, for example, this function is def uh, is showing all the characteristics. So the characteristic that we are interested in is this one because it has the property of 18. So and it has the capability of notification. So if if I want to be able to get notified via um, uh, via the uh, via the from the uh, nucleo board I need the characteristic uh, properties that this bit is high and the value of 18 is the same so this one just it should be true uh, yeah so I'm just disconnecting now I need to define a new class uh, to, to be able to get notification the default one didn't have any notification so the way that it's doing the way that we should do is just like inherit from that one and then we, we define a new on notification uh, and then when the notification from the BLE device comes to the workstation uh, this function is being called and then we check that if it has the correct handle um, and then it may print something and then the co it calls the notify via telegram function above that we tested it, it's working um, yeah so Let's connect with this one. So this should okay. Now it's connected, uh, and then we register for notification. So now, if I um, if I hit the ground or hit the sensor strongly, uh, I should see a message here that prints this one, and also uh, this one should send a Telegram notification here. So let's let's see. actually it did multiple times <laughs> so this is like kind of just 
it did five times. <laughs> so this is kind of just a prototype. It needs a lot of cleanup, but it works. Um, and that's it. I think that's basically the that was the main goal of the project. And yeah, thanks a lot. And bye.